Hi guys, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta and today I have got a finish for you and a bit of an update on a few other projects that I have worked on at the tail end of the year that I haven't really had a chance to talk about. Um, and then um, at the very end, I'm gonna talk about um, my first project that I'm really looking forward to starting on January 1st you can get involved in that if you want to also take part there is still time okay so first of all my finish that i've got here is from craft ease um this was really fun to do it was my sort of canvas that was filling a gap between festive canvases and new year new beginnings so i'd had this one for a little while um it is licensed art from sybil art via crafties as i say it's a 30 by 50 round with what they call star ab's but they are in fact um what most of us would recognize as um sort of special special diamonds so they're more of a rhinestone but um they're not faceted they are sort of rounded they are however incredibly sparkly um there are three colors of the specials we've got the sort of golden yellow the crystal silver and then up in her eyes and a little bit down in the fishes we've got this lovely sort of sapphire blue colour. So what are my thoughts? Um, the only thing that I am at all disappointed in is in fact to do with the crystals and I am a little disappointed in the patch here and in her face. I can see what's happened here if you look at the original artwork and I'll pop a picture up for you um, these patches are the sort of the brightest white in the image and so they have replaced the bright white with the crystals which is fine in the sparkles in the water in this kind of highlight above her head even however because crystals don't appear white on the canvas at certain angles, she just appears to have sort of a big grey blob. So if I can, I'll try and tilt it so that you can just get the light hitting it and then it will do, oh, see, I can't even do that now. Um, yeah, trying to get it to just show up as it's designed to is quite difficult. That's probably as good as we're gonna get. Um, but yeah, as soon as the light is hitting it from a slightly different angle, it just shows up as a grey, sort of silvery patch which looks a little odd i may remove just this patch and this patch and replace i had plenty left over of the colors um so i could easily replace these with either a white or a skin sort of um her skin tone sort of palest pink um so but other than that it was really fun to do it's a lovely size this um, 30 by 50, it's great. I mean, you can see, completely fits on my desk. Um, it's it's just, yeah, nice arm's length working. Um, it was round, so it was super quick. Um, yeah, and I really, I really did enjoy it. As I say, I'm just a little disappointed. And I know that this is because it's not hand charted. It's computer charted and the computer goes oh that's light therefore we will put a sparkle in there it's fine it happens I can correct it just something to be aware of moving forward um, I have another crafty canvas in my stash which I hope to get around to doing soon but um, as you will see 
from um, my plans for the next 12 months. There's a lot to fit in. <laughs> it's going to be a busy year for diamond painting. Um, should you wish to go check out Crafties, um, they have given me a 20% off discount code. It'll be here. Uh, it is the Crafty 20. Uh, that's two zero. Um, and you will find the links for that down below as well. So you can get yourself 20% off using that code. Um, so other things to talk about. I have, um, I'm going to insert some footage here of um, some specials that I did. Before Christmas where or before sort of the whole festive thing kicks off where I was really unwell and I just needed something to keep me busy but nothing that would be too taxing on my eyes so um, yeah I filled in that time doing a couple of special drill paintings and little off the canvas items so what else have I been doing over the festive period um, I have been trying to get to grips with the Nerdy Crafter um, sculpting craft kit, the Not Another Crap Kit. I will link my unboxing video to that if you want to go back and have a look. I will show you where I'm at with that. Um, we've, we've got some progress. Um, I thought I'd give it a bit of a go off camera before trying to do any sort of how-to um, tutorial type videos so here's my first little little cr creation um, I was quite pleased obviously we've got a bit of a flat head going on here but actually unintentional as it was it will work to my advantage um, and we've got a few little lines here I think where I made the mixture a little bit too watery these holes um, are part of the mold they're designed so that you can add tail wings all that good stuff um, and I didn't break the hand when taking it out of the mold so I was really happy with that um, it stands okay oddly because of the flat head actually stands better like that so that's my starting position um, and I have also, this should give away what I'm planning to make, to be honest, um, using the um, epoxy sculpt, I put together this, which needs painting, uh, that had just been drying overnight, and um, then... We've also got this little palette 
for this hand. So obviously <laughs> my plan is now to create a version of the Crafty Witch, um, my avatar. Um, so the flat head in this instance is fine because she's going to have a witch's hat, which I'm going to have to get to grips with the cosplay, which I've never used before. So that's next on my list. Um, I might do some time lapse videos once I get painting, but at the moment it's so trial and error. I don't think it would be very interesting for you guys to watch. <laughs> so, but yeah, so these are her her as she is at the moment. I'm quite pleased with how the, the broom turned out. And as I say, I'm just super happy that I didn't break anything taking it out of the mold. Um, so yeah, there we go. That is where we're at with that at, where we're at with that at the moment. That's a lot of hard to use in one sentence. Um, looking forward to January, um, January the 1st, I will be starting the Alice in a Winter Wonderland um, collab challenge DP along. Um, I am going to be completing the Alice in a Starry Night um, by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. Uh, I'll put a picture here. Um, I have got an unboxing for that from a while ago. Um, I am excited to start it. Um, I have I've kit it up, but I haven't placed a single drill. Um, I'm really excited to get going on it. I actually can't wait. And so you will get some updates on that as we go. I'm gonna leave this here because it's becoming a bit of a ramble. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't plan what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, so I am really excited about what next year holds. I'm hoping to include a lot more witchy content because people have been asking for that. I am looking forward to taking part in lots of different events and just sharing a bit more of my life and my craft with you guys. So as always, um, if you've enjoyed this ramble, please do <laughs> consider leaving a like. Um, and if you want to find out more, then subscribe, become a member of the Crafty Coven. And I will see you guys in the new year. Bye bye. <laughs>